Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you so much and uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, my name is Jim McElroy, and I am a part of the Welcoming Prayer service team, the faculty of the Welcoming Prayer. And we have taken it upon ourselves as a service commitment to offer these ongoing Welcoming Prayer sessions. And um, I'm just really glad you're here. What, what I'd like to start with is just, I offer this that for myself and for you, let's really dedicate the next 25 or 30 minutes to our own transformation and to the transformation of the planet. Um, our world needs so much healing and God works through us. We are the light of the world and our letting go of our false self systems and allowing the presence of God to be in us helps to transform the world. So with that, um, just a couple of things to get started. Um, first of all, I ask that you not use the chat box during this. I know some of you like to connect with each other during the chat box, but it's distracting for some. So if you have any comments for me or to contemplative outreach, or if you'd like just to give a suggestion to the welcoming prayer team, please go to the Contemplative Outreach LTD website. And there's a button where you can give any kind of comment or make any suggestions or um, anything that you would like to give. Just go to that. And, um, or if you want to connect with somebody else, that would be the place to do it. Um, at the end of the session, I'm going to make a, just a couple of recommendations if you would like more information about the welcoming prayer. But this time is for us just to practice the prayer and to lift our spirits and to join together in the community of prayer. So with that being said, I'd like to start with a prayer and just a couple of ideas from Thomas Keating. So if you want to get comfortable in your chairs and do whatever you need to do to just try to get fully present uh, with all of us knowing that we're praying with each other and all the other contemplatives throughout the world who are consenting to God's presence and action within. So, Holy Spirit of God, we believe in your presence within us. Anoint us with your gifts. Draw us inwardly to your presence. Heal the wounds of a lifetime and enable us to enter into your divine presence, which is life, light, and love without limits. Amen. So, as we get ready to entering this powerful, transformative prayer, the welcoming prayer, I'd like just to say a couple of things. One is that when I think of the welcoming prayer, I think of it as kind of learning how to learn a new musical instrument or uh, learning a new language. And many of you maybe have studied another language or tried to learn an instrument. And you know that it takes practice, practice, practice. That's really what all these contemplative practices are. Nobody does them perfectly. No, it's an art. And, and all we're, we recommend um, is to practice it every day. That's when the transformation happens, not in us doing it the right way or without errors or, um, you know, having the right insight. It's just taking these three simple movements with our intention to be with God in the moment, day after day, day after day. That's all it takes. Nobody does this perfectly. So just relax and just um, encourage yourself 
to learn more about it by practicing. And really, like we say in with centering prayer, is like if you sit in that intention with the four guidelines, the prayer will start to teach you. And it's the same with the welcoming prayer. We will go through the three movements of the prayer a couple times this morning, but just trust that the prayer will teach itself. The Spirit of God will teach you as you move through the movements day after day, and nobody does it perfectly. So I'm going to read a couple of words by Thomas Keating um, that I thought were really nice um, and a way for us to kind of gently get into the prayer. Thomas says, take and accept yourself just as you are where you are. If you are aggressive, lustful, fearful, or shy and withdrawn, notice your feelings before, during, and after each incident without emotional reactions of blame, shame, anger, or discouragement. Let God work with your faults and limitations. Just recognize them and be with them without trying to correct them. As you watch them, feel them, accept them, their force and exaggeration will gradually diminish. Keep moving towards the center of your being where divine love dwells and welcome whatever bodily feeling or emotion that is happening. The present moment contains everything we need to be happy. Only our attitudes need to change. So the way I like to start the welcoming prayer is just to help us get into the present moment through our bodies. So I would invite you to um, close your eyes if you are comfortable and just take that white light of awareness. Cherry always reminds us that the awareness of our bodies is really the beginning of the prayer. And I just love that. So that awareness is really the beginning of the prayer. So just take that light of awareness at the top of your head and just work your way down your face and your eyes, the back of your neck, your throat and jaw, your shoulders, down into your chest. Notice any sensation in your arms, down to the tingling in your hands. Go back up to your heart space and notice your breathing. Whenever you get caught in your thoughts, it's always nice to come back to your breathing, to let go of any compulsive thoughts or negative thinking. Just bring your attention back to your breathing. That's always a great way to get back into the present moment. Down into your abdomen and lower back your hips and groin area, down your legs, your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, all the way to the tips of your toes. The body is the emotional warehouse for the experiences of our lifetime. And as we, as we become aware of any physical sensation, we're actually going deep within and we may not realize it, but we are healing and bringing to light any wound or anything that needs to be brought to the light for healing and integration, our work towards wholeness, our healing. So I invite you again to go through your body and just notice 
any physical sensation. Linger there, be with it. Sink into it. Be present. And be grounded in the sacred space of this present moment. Now we will go through the three movements of the welcoming prayer. Feel and sink into what you are experiencing this moment in your body. Feel and sink into what you are experiencing this moment in your body. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome what we are experiencing in our body as an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome what you are experiencing this moment in your body as an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling. Welcome. Welcome. And the third movement is to let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Welcome. Welcome. And when you are comfortable and ready, you can gently come back into the room by opening your eyes. And we'll talk just a couple of more minutes and then we'll do the practice again. So last week, Cherry led the Tuesday morning meeting and she used a book called The Human Condition that Thomas Keating wrote. It's a little book. And like Cherry said, it's really a powerhouse of a little book. Um, uh, it's really, in some ways, it's kind of a synthesis of all of Thomas's teachings. Just in a few short pages, you can probably sit down and read it, you know, in, in an hour. But it's beautifully written and it's concise and it's really a very profound teaching. And like all of Thomas's teachings, you know, it, you know, you, you you can listen to it, but they really take a lifetime to practice because that's the way they're meant to be. These are meant to be lifetime practices. But in that book, Thomas poses the question, where are you? Where are you? And 
Cherry brought that back to the welcoming prayer by really saying where we are, where we had this opportunity is to be in the present moment. You know, when we get off on a tangent or we start worrying about things or we're thinking about the past or we're uh, upset about a future event, you know, where are you? You know, where are you? You know, is this that egoic consciousness that is taking us away from the present moment? Well, our opportunity with the welcoming prayer is to come back come back you know where are you where does god dwell where's the divine indwelling it's in this moment within each of us in that secret room that thomas would always use the inner room that thomas would always use when he was teaching centering prayer matthew 6 6 when you want to pray go to your inner room close the door Pray to your father in secret, and your father in secret will reward you. Where are you? Am I in the secret room with my divine therapist? Or am I thinking about the past? Am I worried about the future? Am I concerned about things that I have no power over? And the opportunity here is to always ground ourselves in the present moment. In that same book, The Human Condition, there's another reading that I'd like to read to you this morning that takes it kind of to the next step. And this is what Thomas says. Once the presence of God is a permanent part of daily life, there is a, there is a sense of spaciousness in the midst of all of our activities. When difficulties arise because of events or other people and our emotional reactions start to give us trouble, we can surround them with God's presence. This presence relativizes the importance of our compulsion that we have to do something about every situation. Yes, there are certain situations we do have to, to, to take some action on, but if we do them from false motivation, we will not accomplish anything. But when we act from the conviction of God's presence within us and with openness to the inspirations of the Holy Spirit, action becomes effective. And I cannot imagine any practice that can purify our motivations more than the welcoming prayer. So if we want to be effective in our communication, in the things that we do, in our service work, in our life with our families, if it's grounded in the welcoming prayer, you know, you can be sure that our motivations have been brought to the light of God. So let's sit down again and um, get comfortable in our chairs. And let's go through the three movements of the prayer one more time. And I would invite you to do a moment of a body scan. Notice any sensations in your body, be fully present to them. Notice your breathing. Notice your anxiety and just be fully present to it, knowing that your God accepts you exactly where you are in this moment. Everything is fine. So the first movement is to feel and sink into what you are experiencing this moment in your body. Feel and sink into 
what you are experiencing this moment in your body. Welcome. Welcome what you are experiencing in your body in this moment as an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome what you are experiencing this moment in your body as an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling. Welcome. Welcome. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Welcome. Welcome. I would invite you now just to be present and allow the presence of God to be with you in the silence for a few minutes.
mind as you are comfortable, you can gently come back into our ordinary level of consciousness. And um, again, when you're ready, just open your eyes. Yeah. You know, I've been practicing centering prayer since 1996, and I learned the welcoming prayer shortly after that. And it's truly been one of those, you know, silent forces that has uh, gained steam over the years. Uh, the welcoming prayer faculty, ha it will be offering a course, a month long course, an online virtual course. Um, in the fall, you'll see, you know, through the contemplative outreach uh, publications, you'll see more information about that. I believe it's in September, October. Cherry or Dave could, or or Mary can, you know, um, might might be able to give the exact dates. But you'll find out more about it. And I really recommend it because it really goes into depth with the teaching about the um, the emotional wounds of a lifetime. Um, you know, how we use the prayer to transform ourselves and heal those patterns that we all have in our life, those false self patterns, those wounds, those hurts that we've had, um, that sometimes we've nurtured and sometimes we haven't quite been able to let go of. But uh, the more we practice, the more you know, the more we're able to open ourselves to the spirit in the moment. I heard a term uh, recently called spontaneous obedience. And I'd never really heard that before, but spontaneous obedience. It's like learning how to live in the present moment. You know, that, that divine inspiration, that divine intuition. And that, I think, is what the welcoming prayer really, really helps us with. Um, just a couple of other thoughts. Um, one, uh, we do have the Contemplative Life program booklet on the Welcoming Prayer. I think it's called CLP. Um, and you can get that through the Contemplative Outreach website. Um, you know, and, and I would just, you know, if you're kind of new to Contemplative Outreach or just, you know, looking for opportunities to deepen your prayer life, there's so many opportunities on the website to uh, explore maybe a new book or something like that. And speaking of books, the originator of the um, welcoming prayer was a woman many of you know is Mary Mrazowski. Uh, and Mary Mrazowski, in some ways, you know, kind of co founded Contemplative Outreach. And one of her daughters has written a book called The Audacity to Be Divine. I believe that's the name, The Audacity to Be Divine. And it's now available on Amazon Books. And it may eventually be, you know, available through the Contemplative Outreach website, but I do know it's available. Um, in fact, I just ordered it this morning on Amazon because I wanted, I, I wanted to get it, you know, but I think it's the audacity to be divine. And I don't know if, you know, there are, there are some YouTube videos about Mary Murzowski, um, 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 that are available, but she was, you know, you know, you know, if there was a mother and father of contemplative outreach, Mary would be the mother, you know, that's, ju that's just the way it was. She was um, just a, a wonderful teacher. And we were very lucky to have her for the time that we did. So like all the great teachers, right? You know, it's like, we're so blessed these days to have all these wonderful teachers in our lives. So with that, I can't think of anything I'm missing. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, contact us through the Contemplative Outreach website. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and week. Stay safe, stay well, and try to be mindful of the welcoming prayer practice as you go through your days. And as that purification process is happening. I mean, that's what, you know, God wants us whole. And unfortunately, in order to get there, we have, you know, we have to go through this purification process. So um, it's been a great practice for me to work through my demons. I'll tell you, it's been wonderful. So I wish you all well. Thank you so much. God bless.
Thanks, Jim. You bet. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Great to see everybody. Oh, God, I love you all. It's great to see your beautiful faces. Yeah. Very much Thank love. Thank you, Jim. It was wonderful. Thank you, Jim. Great to see you, Sue. Thank you. Great way Thank to start the day, much. Jim. Yeah, really? I mean, I, I completely agree. I need it every day. Yep, I agree. Grateful, grateful. Okay, you guys. Well, the whole Take team. Care. Thank See you, you again. See you again. Keep up your good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.